guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy. I'm so glad you're here today. How are you guys doing? Uh, this is going to be a general session, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do have personal sessions, private sessions. All that information will be down in the description box, and my contact information will be somewhere on the screen. All right. Okay. Yesterday, I did a stoned oracle, and I'm being told to film this right after that one. So, um, and we talked about, I spoke about um, what are you aligning with? What are we aligning with? So, and now we're going to talk about, I think, love. And love could be a family, it could be friends, it could be your person, it could be the relationship you're in right now. We're just going to see what comes out for what we're aligning with in love, okay? Yeah, okay, I'm going to get three moon, um, moonology cards. Three, please. Okay. Can you guys see? I always have to kind of figure out where I'm at. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, pre I'm pretty medicated, you guys, so your hard work is paying off. I'll show these to you in a minute. And uh, you are good enough. And they want me to get four, okay? Communication is key. All right. So, okay, you guys. Um, so, mediate and contemplate. So, I feel like for many of you, you're doing, um, you're doing this. Like, you are... You know, figuring out, figuring out how to make this happen, figuring out how to move forward now that whatever tower fell, I feel like, like for many of you, there was a tower that was part of the pressure release here. And you may be feeling a lot of like vacuum energy. I don't know how else to describe this, but like not emptiness because I feel like you, you are more whole now than you were. But I feel like there's a vacuum type energy. Like you're feeling like, aha, I have vacuumed all that up. Now there's room for me to move the table there or whatever. I've cleaned all that up or I can put a rug there now. It's like you're, you've are you made room for something. And um, for many of you, this is part of, it's love. It's a love career. It's, it's a lot of different things for a lot of different people. It's spiritual. But um, we're talking about love right now. So I'm feeling like, it's really important for you to know yourself. I'm seeing the uh, lover's card in the golden, uh, the golden tarot and um, the Art Nouveau. And that card is really about knowing self so you can know another. And that's part of this work here, this contemplation meditation. And that could be everyone's different. Meditation doesn't work the same for everyone. We all have different minds and universes within. So, you know, do what meditation is to you. And, and it may not, <laughs> it may not look like what other people think meditation should look like, but don't listen to them. Follow, follow your own intuition. Okay. Follow your own guidance because you know, you, nobody knows you like you. You are a master of yourself. That's part of this energy here. It's a, a mastery energy. Okay. So, all right, I'm actually going to pull from this um, <clears throat> golden tarot, art, golden art and Yellow tarot. Yeah, this has some really uh, intense manifesting energies in this deck. I've done a lot of work with it, and it's kind of, I don't want to use that word. Okay, it's kind of enchanted <laughs> with the kind of energy, and uh, it's golden, and it's an energy of manifestation and blessings. Okay, so, all right. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to move these over here. You can't really see them right now, but we're going to move into the tarot. So, okay. Maybe I should do it. Okay. All right, I'm at five. This one, this one, this one, bottom, and top. Okay. All right. Let's move these over here so at least you guys can see, see them there. Okay. Oh, wow, we have the victory card. We have a lover's card. You saw me shuffle these, right? <laughs> we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Page of uh, Cups. And we have the Hierophant. All right, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Man, that is crazy. We have the Hierophant and the Lovers. Okay. Wow, there's victory for this connection. Okay, so if you're currently in a connection, uh, this is wanting to go deeper. Okay. For some of you guys, it's like getting married or living together. For others, it's like getting to a place where you know yourself better so you can give more. And uh, you're, it's, 
I'm feeling like your relationship catches fire. And once that happens, it's like a lot of inspired energy comes forward. It, it ignites your creativity and it ignites your, um, your ability to think outside the box. Okay. So definitely have victory here. And I'm feeling the victory over this lack. Maybe you feel like they don't really love you. Maybe you feel like you don't really love them. Or maybe you feel like um, nobody's coming forward. There'll be nobody for me. But, you know, if you don't have anybody right now and you're trying to align with your person, the lovers are here. The advice is to no self. You are more than enough. Okay. Where's that card? You are good enough. You are good enough. Okay. Uh, this lack mentality will not bring this person to you. Okay. You have to believe and know that you're worthy of this level of connection. Okay. For many of you, your person is powerful uh, because you are powerful. You have the potential to be powerful, but if you don't think you are, if you don't connect with your power, they can't come forward because your frequency won't vibe. So yeah. So the victory is definitely over, over that sense of lack here. Uh, and there's healing with the Hierophant, okay? Relieving uh, shame and guilt, relieving uh, feelings of, um, I don't like the word like sin, but like feeling like you're not worthy, feeling like you're just not a good person or, you know, these are the darker elements of self coming forward that you may have judged yourself or other people have judged you for. There's a need to forgive yourself and to heal it, okay? So you can move into this knowing self so you can know another. It's about eating the forbidden fruit of self. Forbidden because we've all been taught to, you know, hop in line, little ant, and go do your ant work, okay? And that's just not, that's not who we really are. Sorry, I was choking. Um, I'm working really hard to open my channel up a lot more, and so I'm having to work on my uh, throat chakra a lot, so... You are good enough for this love that's coming. This is not an empty cup, okay? Now, it hasn't matured. A page is a young energy, okay? And there may be an age difference here. It could be, you know, everyone's legal age, okay? But there's a difference. It could be age. It could be friend group. It could be different interests. But there's definitely someone coming forward. Now, if you're with someone, this is at the birth of like a new energy, okay? And uh, it's a different level of commitment or connection. It's going to be different for everyone because this is very general. But, you know, you're, wor you're worthy, okay? You've earned this. This is, this is part of your life. This is part of your life experience, getting to know uh, your person. If it's not your person, twin flame, ah, uh, I hate that label, but, <laughs> um, or an important soulmate, that's what I'm feeling. Like this is somebody who's going to make a difference in your life. Okay. And you may currently be with that person. And if you are, there are signs that you're with the right person. And I think right now they want you to ask your subconscious or your spirit guides, your intuition to show you the signs and they will come forward. Okay. Magical things can happen between uh, the lovers here. Magical, magical things can happen between the lovers. So, and the victory. <laughs> what more do you want? You know, victory here. There's victory. There's a lot of hard work going into this victory though. Okay, so many of you have been working very hard on something, maybe bettering yourself, maybe trying to figure out what you really want, maybe getting to the place where, you know what, you're so happy being you that you let go of the idea of someone and it's not done in a bitter way. Like, I, I know that for some people, when they first say, oh, I don't need anybody, I can do this by myself, it's because of pain from the past or baggage from a past relationship. But as you release that, you can get into the energy of like, you know what? I'm healed. Like as you work on yourself, as you work on aspects of your personality that you may not like, as the mirror opens up and you see, um, you know, things about yourself you want to change because they don't feel authentic anymore. They don't feel like who you are. As you work on that and you let it go, that's hard work. There's a victory. So I, I did a reading recently about celebrating your small victories. That is an important reading because I'm session, oh, session, session. I will get it one day. Um, it's an important session because um, you're realizing the work you're doing. Like you're becoming aware of it. As you celebrate small victories, that means you take a moment and you look at, oh, wow, I did that. I really did do that. You know, that moment helps you align with that powerful energy of victory. Okay. So, you know, 
good things are coming. You have to believe that. You have to know that good things are coming. Um, don't just take my word for it. So communication is key. Definitely. I feel like this page of cups here, there may be a, a loving uh, message come through. If it's from your person, then they may get uh, real emotional or they may get really romantic or this could be from someone new. Okay. But definitely there's a message here. The cup's got a fish in it. All right. There's possibility. It's not just full of water. Okay. Which is emotion. Fish live in water. So there's a water element here, but there is a solid tangible thing that they're offering. Okay. So this could be opportunity as well, you know, for uh, a collaboration or work or things like that. But for many of you, this is love. This is some kind of either a new level of commitment or awareness with your person, or this is a new person offering you love. Okay. Everyone's at a different place. So, okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel and, and subscribing and all that stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.